Well, for the first time since 2017, parts of the U.S. will experience a total solar eclipse. Yeah, so what can you actually expect here in central North Carolina, though? Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing tells us what we need to know. We're less than a month out now from the next total solar eclipse where totality back through the sun is totally blocked out by the moon happening in this orange path. As a reminder, we are not going to experience 100% totality here in central North Carolina, but we will see some of the eclipse. The partial eclipse begins at 1:58 the afternoon of April 8th, and for the next hour and 17 minutes, more of the sun will seem to be carved away until 78% of the sun is covered by the moon. This is as much of the eclipse as we're going to see, and you can only see it with eclipse glasses or a pinhole camera. Our view of the eclipse will end just before 4.30 that afternoon. So, of course, we hope for good viewing conditions. On average, our high, April 8th, is a very comfortable 71 degrees, but our cloud cover can be a little more tricky. April 8th has, on average, clear skies a little more than 10% of the time, but mostly cloudy skies 26% of the time. And of course, let's hope this year is nothing like last year when the high was only 48 degrees and we had almost an inch and a half of rain. As a reminder, we won't have totality here in North Carolina, but if the weather plays along, even that partial eclipse is still an amazing sight to see. I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.